We are finally alone now, so why don't we kiss? The cutest and smartest girl in the school said something shocking out of the blue. She was usually difficult to approach because of her cold attitude, but here she was right in front of me. Even though she offered me a kiss, no, I refuse. That's weird. I read a research paper that said men react positively when they're told that. What kind of research is that? Come on, let's keep studying. How did this genius cute girl end up falling in love with me? Everything started a month ago, on the day we got our test results back. All of my scores were just below average. How can you be so proud of those scores? I don't have to do extra classes because my scores aren't too low. <laughs> I, Totoro Kitakata, am the dumb class clown. I was happy I didn't have to go to any supplementary classes. On the other hand, Midori Ryu Gasakai, the genius cute girl, was looking out of the window, looking depressed. Did you hear? Ryugasaki got a 97 for her entrance exam and is the number one in the school. Wow, she's killing it as usual. She's cute, intelligent, and has a cool attitude. She's like the queen of the school. Are you into her, Tatara? Don't be stupid. What makes you think I'd be able to go out with that perfect human being? Well, it's not just you. No one can get close to her. I wish I could get close to her. Why don't you talk to her then? Are you stupid? She won't talk to you unless you get better grades. Why? Apparently she's only interested in intelligent people. But putting aside wanting to get close to her, you should do something about your grades. Ugh. Like this, Ryugasaki and I were the type of people that would never talk. I was cleaning the classroom by myself after school that day. Jeez. They didn't have to make me do it all alone just because they had stuff to do. Huh? I found a piece of paper on the floor while I was cleaning and talking to myself. I picked it up, and it was a math problem sheet. This is the stuff you learn in third year. And it doesn't seem like school stuff. Maybe somebody got it from a cram school or something. Hmm? When I got to school the next day, my classroom was noisier than usual. Who was it? What's all the fuss? Oh, Tutora! I just got here too, but I think something happened to Ryusaki. Who solved this problem? Problem? We don't know. Sorry. What's that piece of paper, Ryugasaki? This is the past entrance exam for Yuki University, the university I'm going to apply for. So that's the entrance exam for a top-level university? Yes, and the answers were all correct. I wonder who solved it. The paper that I picked up. I never knew it was the entrance exam for Yuki University. I guess only a teacher or a third year could have done that. Well, we couldn't have solved it anyway, so it's none of our business, but we could come out and say we did it so we can get close to Ryusaki. Don't. <laughs> She'll know from the beginning that it's a lie. <laughs> I'm just joking. We ended up not knowing who really solved the problems, but after school that day, Ryukasaki came up to me and started asking me a bunch of questions. You're Kitakata, right? Can I have a word? Uh, what is it? And you're way too close. I heard you were in the classroom alone yesterday. I was doing the cleaning, so... So you're the one that picked this up and solved it. It wasn't me, really. Let's face it, I only do about average on all the exams. I can't solve a third year math problem. How do you know it's for the third years? We haven't even learned it yet. Shit! Um, well, I only picked it up and put it on the front desk. Your surname, Kitakata, is very rare around here, isn't it? Huh? Um, really? I mean, we have the famous Kitakata family around here, but... <gasps> Are you? I told you! I don't know! Bye! Hey, wait! I left Ryugasaki and ran out. Because I have a secret I was not allowed to give away. Taisai Kitakata. He's my ancestor, and is famous enough to be in textbooks. His ability to memorize things was insane, and legend has it, he spoke more than 20 languages. He's said to have been a genius with the IQ of 250 to 300. So my family is of geniuses. I have an IQ of around 170, but it's the lowest among my family. I've been compared with my brother, who's said to be the reincarnation of Taisai. 
and I grew up with people calling me average or the stupid one. To protect the family name, I must not reveal that I'm the descendant of Tessai Kitakata. But... Sir Tatora, your classmate is here. I wanted to see you. What?! Yukasaki came to visit me on Sunday! What the hell are you thinking?! What did she come here for?! Hmm, strange. The book said this line will make men happy. You're the strange one! Sir Tetora is a teenager after all. <laughs> no, it isn't like that! This isn't what you think! So you're called Sir Tetora at home? Shut up! I ended up taking Ryugasaki into the living room. So you were Teisai Kitakata's descendant. This is the house he was born in? Yeah. It's such a big mansion, I would get lost in here. And? Why did you come here today? Kitakata, you are the one who solved the problems, aren't you? Did you come all the way here on your weekend just to ask me that? That's half the reason why I came. I'm certain that you are the one who solved the problem, now that I found out you're the descendant of Teisai. I said I didn't. That's just your guess. And you're way too close. You are secretly a genius, right? You should be able to solve it. My IQ is only 170. I'm the stupid one in the family. They call you stupid with an IQ of 170? The average is 100. Our standards are quite different. My father has an IQ of 200. And my brother? Just then, my brother came home. I heard you let a woman into the mansion. What are you thinking? Uh, bro! Hello, sorry to bother you. So... The stupid one has finally given up on academia, and is playing with women? What a disgrace to the family. It's not like that. If you have time for women, why don't you do something for yourself? It's not what it looks like. Besides, what is the deal with the exam results you got the other day? That is... well... sorry. How could you even call yourself a Kitakata with scores like that? Um... Huh? Don't you think that's a bit too harsh? Hey, Ryukasaki! Do you intend to oppose my methods? Who are you in the first place? I'm Midori Ryukasaki. I'm Tatara's classmate. Ryukasaki? Sorry, bro! I'll make her go home right away! Hey, wait! We haven't finished talking! Just come! Jeez! How could you go against my brother? It's because I don't like his attitude, and yours too. Me? Why don't you say anything back? He's special! His IQ is 260! People call him the reincarnation of Taisa! That's how great he is! He started his own company when he was in university. And his assets are insane right now! He's the heir to the family. And the only person who could make him do anything probably is my father! But that doesn't mean you can hurt your brother! Just leave me and my family business alone. So, what did you come here for? You said checking if I was Taisai's descendant was half of the reason, right? Oh yeah. I want you to be my rival. Rival? I don't get it. And you're too close. An academic rival. Huh? My grades haven't been improving recently. You've reached human potential and can't perform better? What a smart person problem. Even if the grades at school are good, that's not good enough. I want to be number one in the entire country. Well, that's ambitious. Ever since I've become number one at school, I've been bored. I want to be able to study and compete with someone else. Why don't you ask the person in second place? The gap between us is too big, so there's no point in competing. But still, you're asking the wrong guy. My scores are below average. That's not true. I know you're hiding your true ability. Just in case you didn't know, just because my IQ is high, doesn't mean I can do well in exams. My grades would be around average at school. That's because you aren't studying. You would get really good grades if you studied. I don't intend to study properly. I'm fine with where I am right now. Okay, how about we make a deal? What deal? You can do whatever you want with me if you study properly. Nope. I am not studying for something like that. That's weird. I thought men would usually say yes when I say that. Are you really a genius, or are you one of those stupid people who can somehow get good scores on exams? Are you perhaps not interested in girls? I am! I'm interested in girls! I rejected her proposal. But the next day, 
She started to talk to me whenever she had the chance. Let's eat lunch together. No. Even though I woke up early and made some for you? Why did we even become that close? Everyone was looking at us with surprise. I guess it was just a natural response because the cutest girl in school made lunch for an introvert like me. Kitakata! Rizaki's inviting you! How dare you refuse! I wish I was you! You can go if you want to so badly. But really? Then... Sorry, but I'm not interested in you at all. <sighs> How harsh. You could have said that in a nicer way. Even during class. What is she thinking? Huh? Our eyes met during class and... What? What is it, Kitakata? Were you surprised that this question was so difficult? Why is she lifting up her skirt? I just saw something now. Don't ignore me! Kitakata! Hey! Kitakata! Rikasaki! What was this about? I thought it would motivate you. You're motivating me to do something else! I was shocked. It seemed like Rikasaki would do anything to achieve her goals. Why are you so obsessive about studying? Why do you want to be the number one in the whole country? What are you going to do when you find out? If you want me to cooperate, at least tell me why you want to achieve it. You have a point. My father recently proposed to someone on my behalf without even asking me. I don't know who it is yet, but he apparently has a bright future ahead of him. But I don't want that. I want to make my own decisions in my life. And my father gave me one condition in which he would cancel the marriage. Is that why you need to be number one? Yeah. If I could achieve it, he told me I can do whatever I want. Even regardless of the marriage thing, I want to challenge myself. But I have no motivation recently. I see. So, that's why you wanted a rival. I get the situation you're in, but don't involve me in it. Kitakata! And besides, are you sure you're okay with refusing that? He's probably rich, right? You could live an easy life. I don't want that! I want to live like a normal girl and have a normal relationship. Well, a normal girl wouldn't just visit a guy's house or lift up her skirt during class. She's so weird. I'm starting to have a headache. I get that you really want to be a normal girl. Why don't you quit aiming for number one and just be a normal girl? What do you think I should do specifically? I don't know, like, smile? Like this? Oh my god, she's so cute. What do you think? Am I smiling like a normal girl? Um, well, uh, I, uh... A smile doesn't suit me, does it? I still have the promise I made with my father, so I'll aim for number one, like a good girl. Not all good girls aim for number one. So, I want you to be my rival. Um, are you listening to what I said? I didn't intend on becoming a rival, so figure something out for yourself. But she kept trying to convince me. Three days later, something shocking happened when Ryugi-san was trying to convince me on our way home. Become my rival! I've been telling you I won't! Huh? What's the matter? I've been waiting. Bro, why are you here? Can't you see? I came here to take you home. Hey, I'm in the middle of an important conversation with him right now. Could you not interrupt? I meant I was waiting for you, Midori Ryugasaki. Me? We're now officially dating. Let's go and talk about this for both of our parents. Hold on a second! What is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is that she's my fiance. My company is in partnership with her father's company. To make a closer bond between our companies, our marriage is a necessary tactic. Tactic? Are you using marriage as a tool? I'm glad you're a smart girl. So, we'll both go to our parents to say we've officially started dating. I don't want to. Are you sure? If you refuse, the relationship between my company and your father's company could be damaged. Well, that's... No, that's a lie. I'll check with my father. She quickly made a phone call to her father. Father, Mr. Kitakata came to pick me up, but what is the meaning of this? Is he my fiancé? It's true that Mr. Kitaka's son is your fiancé. I'm sorry to have kept it a secret. What? Do you understand now? Now, get in the car. I don't want to! It seems like I need to teach you some manners then. I said I don't want to! 
I start to feel sorry for Ryugasaki for being in such a miserable situation. Fiance was chosen, regardless of her will. And your fiance is someone you can't disobey. We're in different situations, but being born as a descendant of Teisai, I had been treated in an unfair way. I want to live as a normal girl and have a normal relationship. What do you think? Am I smiling like a normal girl? I started to feel anger towards the adults who disregarded Ryugasaki's feelings. Wait a second, bro! What is it? It hasn't been decided yet whether you'll marry her or not. What do you mean? She's made a promise. If she gets number one in the country on the next mock exam, the marriage will be cancelled. Yes, I've heard from her father. But think about it. She was number eight on the last exam. The gap between the number one cannot be so easily filled. You never know until she tries it! Totoro, are you the stupid one? Really going to oppose my methods? Sorry, bro, but I won't let you call me the stupid one anymore. I pretended that I was dumb because it was easy, but I'll stop pretending. Easy? Pretending? I'm actually a genius. I can solve all the problems just by listening to what the teacher says, even if I don't want to. But I can't do things as great as you do. And I thought people might think I'm weird if an introvert like me was so smart. That's why I didn't do my best. Like for Yugasaki, I wanted a normal life. Totora. Huh? Uh, then I'll cancel the marriage if you get the number one slot on the next mock exam. The relationship between the Ryugasaki family can stay as it is. I want one more condition. If I place in the top three, I want you to cancel the marriage as well. Yeah, sure. I bet you can't, though. My brother smiled and walked away. Sorry, Kitakata. I've completely gotten you involved in my business. Don't worry about it. You said you can aim for number one if I study with you, right? I, I did, but you are... Don't worry. It's a chance for me to get recognition from my family. We don't have time, so let's get straight to it. Kitakata... From that day on, we started studying together. The classes I wasn't paying any attention to weren't helping. But as I studied, I was able to catch up with Ryugisaki in a few days. I think this is a better way of solving this question. I see. Thanks. Kitakata, once everything's over... Huh? What is it? Actually, <laughs> nothing. Oh, really? And for the next three weeks, we studied as hard as we could. And as a result... Ryugasaki came first in the National Mock Exam! Congrats! Congratulations, Ryugasaki! Ryugasaki got number one in the National Mock Exam. So she was able to cancel the marriage with my brother. And there's one more student who got the same score as Ryugasaki, and tied for first. t t tora ki What? I kind of got first place as well. I was somewhat relieved that I didn't get a higher score than Ryugasaki. A few days later, Ryugasaki and I went to her father's company, where we also met my brother. Father, we both got number one. You will cancel the marriage, right? Hmm. Both of you. Father, please! Let me be free! <laughs> Just as you thought, Mr. Kitakata! What? what?! But I didn't think you would both get number one! How excellent! Sorry, Mr. Ryugasaki. Thank you for playing along with my scenario. Don't worry, Mr. Kitakata! After all, they were both able to make huge progress! But, bro What's the meaning of this? Sorry for tricking you two. I came up with this plan and had Mr. Ryugasaki cooperate. My brother tried to provoke me, so that I would reach my full potential. Ryugasaki's father also didn't know how to motivate his daughter to get better scores. He thought of this plan because he found out that we were kind of close. Does that mean my brother is... You've grown up so much, Tetora. Even if you don't become number one, you've changed yourself to help someone. I'm proud of you. So, from the beginning... You were... Even though they were words meant for you to grow, I do regret saying terrible things to you. I'm sorry. All of it for me. I'm sorry too. I couldn't understand your feelings. So, we brothers were on good terms once more. So, Father, has the marriage been cancelled? Well, a promise is a promise. Are you sure you want to throw this opportunity away? 
I don't intend to marry Mr. Kitagata. No, no, no. Your fiance is Totoro. What? Who would have guessed? My real fiance wasn't my brother, but me. My brother appointed me as her fiance because he believed that I had a bright future. Miss Midori, Totoro has a bright future. Would you do me a favor and not cancel the marriage? Really? Of course I'm so happy. I want you to be my husband. What? Rikisaki! Hey, bro! What about my opinion? <laughs> I didn't know you guys were already so close! Take care of her, Totoro. So, Ryugasaki and I officially started dating. But there was still one big problem left. You know the piece of paper that you dropped with the math problems? I wonder who solved it. What? It wasn't you? Sorry, I was the one who did it. He was late, so I got worried. And when I went to school, I found the paper on the front desk, so... Instinctively... What? You did it! You're very protective, aren't you? It seems like he was our Cupid until the very end.